We are in the process of installing an artificial turf at Kennett Stadium. It's, uh, it's been something we've been, been needing for a long time. This is a project that is a carryover from the 2009 SPLOST. Uh, we were very fortunate to get this approved and get it going. We pr play approximately 28 high school football games a year on this field. Uh, that all, and then we have missed some middle school games. We also play soccer matches out here in the spring. So it is, uh, has always been a challenge to have the field in great condition when it was a grass field. Now this will allow us to use, you know, to have it in good condition at all time, plus add to what we're doing. The initial price, you know, may be a little higher than putting grass down, but uh, over the course of a 10 or 12 year period, uh, it, it pays for itself. And then where you really get your money back is the second time you put turf down, uh, where the cost is about a third of what it, what it cost the first time. So uh, it, it financially just makes good sense. It's basically once you put it down, uh, you kind of sweep it, you know, once a month, and then that's about it. The field will be will be completed and be ready for us to begin play here on August the 20th, unless something weird happens you know, with the weather, you know, in, in, in the installation process. This is just the start of some of the things that we're going to be doing at Kinnett Stadium. For example, right now we're, we're adding new ga entrance gates into the facility, both the parking areas and, and the entrance into the stadium. And then uh, within the next, with, sometime within the next year, we're going to begin the process of renovating the press box, concession stands, locker rooms. So you're, anybody that's uh, been at Kinnett uh, Stadium in the past is going to see a drastic difference when they come back to